into it. Today was day two of President Trump's impeachment trial in the Senate, but day one didn't end until early this morning. In fact, senators had to stay in session until after 1 a.m. And I just want to say this, okay, right off the top, if this becomes a regular occurrence, don't you dare change the channel and watch that. <laughs> This is our time slot. <laughs> we'll make sure you're caught up on everything, OK? <laughs> the Senate stayed in session until 1 a.m. It could have gone even later, but everyone was pretty disturbed by the sight of Senator Chuck Grassley in his pajamas. <laughs> um, things went so late because Republicans were busy blocking all 11 of the Democrats' attempts to subpoena witnesses and obtain new evidence during the trial. If you didn't watch last night, it basically went like this. What about no? How about no? What about absolutely not? <laughs> Republicans started the trial by refusing to introduce evidence or hear from witnesses, which is like me throwing a Super Bowl party and then going, uh, just, a just a few quick rules, no food, no drinks. <laughs> and no watching football. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, today, a reporter asked President Trump if he will attend his own impeachment trial, and he had this to say. I'd love to go. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be beautiful? I don't know. I'd sort of love to sit right in the front row and stare at their corrupt faces. I'd love to do it. I don't know. Don't, don't keep talking, because I may, you may convince me to do it. <laughs> Trump's basically that guy in a bar who's like, yeah, hold me back. You hold me back. I'm gonna... Why aren't you guys holding me back? I'm gonna... <laughs> the president seems a little confused. He said, wouldn't that be beautiful? I'd love to sit in the front row. He knows it's an impeachment trial, right? It's, <laughs> it's not a Justin Bieber concert. It's not... <laughs> Moving on, there's an important weather alert to tell you about. Because of unusual cold in South Florida, the National Weather Service has warned people to, and this is true, watch out for falling iguanas. <laughs> yeah, now they're okay, but apparently, when the weather drops below 40 degrees, iguanas become less mobile and can fall out of the tree branches. <laughs> So it's partly cloudy with a chance of, oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! What was. What was that? Don't worry. It was an iguana. What the f? <laughs> Here's an idea. Instead of warning residents that iguanas may get too cold and fall out of trees, maybe warn the iguanas. <laughs> or better yet, just get them a nice sweater. <laughs> And here's a crazy story from Scotland. A man there recently robbed a bank while wearing a pillowcase over his head. But here's the thing. He didn't bother to cut out any <laughs> eye holes. <laughs> and as a result, he had to flee the bank, quote, very slowly, <laughs> and was immediately arrested. <laughs> pillowcase closed. <laughs> The man said that with his vision obscured, his other senses were heightened. For example, he sensed almost immediately that he was going to go to jail. <laughs> when the cops finally caught up with the man in the pillowcase, they were like, freeze! Now take two steps to the side... No, the other way. <laughs> two steps to the left. My left. Do you know what? Forget it. We'll come to you. And finally, we wanted to tell you about this. A wedding in India was recently called off after the father of the bride and the mother of the groom went missing just before the ceremony, and it turns out they ran off and married each other. <laughs> yeah, and you thought the worst thing your dad could do at your wedding was dance. <laughs> <laughs> you have to admit, though, what a power move. Parents bailing on their kids' wedding and being like, oh, yeah, by the way, your brother and sister now. I'll see you later. <laughs> it's, it's shocking. It's a shocking thing to do. But this young couple, they need to look on the bright side. They do. Think of it like this. You're not losing a fiancé. You're gaining a sibling you've had sex with. 